The holidays are fucking stupid, and if you disagree, you're probably under Santa's magic spell. It's that time of the year again, the holiday season, a time of family, fun, and fiddles. Oh, how I love the traditional holiday fiddles. There's nothing more holly and jolly than the magical time of the holidays. Why relax during the coldest time of the year when you can celebrate the holidays? Keep that thermostat down and your fridge empty so that you can afford all that it takes to celebrate the holidays. These traditions are near and dear to our hearts, so there's absolutely nothing that could get in the way of us taking part in these beautiful and necessary traditions. Stop at nothing, and I repeat, nothing to go shopping and eat out every day from October to January, and also from February to September. And before you ask, I am not being paid generous amounts by certain businessmen and women to say this in order to encourage the masses to spend every last dollar they have so that we can get richer, I mean so that they can get richer. I'm just trying to to help you out by showing all of the ways of connecting with your family, as that's not an option any other time of the year. Did you fuck up and spoil Thanksgiving with your drunken rants about what Great Aunt Grenfield did with Uncle Joseph in 1983? Well, you can make it up by coming down to whatever hundreds of stores are most definitely less than a few blocks away from you at all times and pick up a Christmas present that'll surely put a smile on your family's hideous faces. Because connecting with your family takes time and is gross. Yucky. It's much easier and quicker to pick up something already made to give to your loved ones. You can even pay to have it wrapped. Might as well pay someone to put it under your tree and to hug your children because nothing expresses love like the exchanging of currency. Spend every last dollar. Do me a solid, would you? Come on, be a bro and allow me to stop that jingling in your pocket by emptying your pockets of all your valuables and in return I'll give you the shirt with a bear that says, that's what I do. I drink coffee, I hate people, and I know things. And also a $5 navel ring from Spencer's. I think that's the best part about all the things you can buy for other people. It's like an expression of your love for them in the form of a $10 Hobby Lobby gift card. On top of that, that card will remain a piece of your love for that person at the bottom of the ocean for 10,000 years, along with a few thousand My Little Pony stuffies and your electric fan from the 90s. My favorite thing about the holidays is the lights. So many colors and so many lights. This guy made his whole house out of Christmas lights. I wonder when these traditions started. Christmas was first officially recognized by the church in the 4th century, with the traditions we're familiar with originating from the pagans. Everyone knows that. But did everyone know that the first Christmas lights were made in 1882? By a guy who was similar to Thomas Edison as he was very smart, but was not Thomas Edison? He figured that lights were very pretty, and like a maniac, was the first person to wrap a string of these newfangled dangerous electric lights around a dry tree in their living room. Hey Josephine, remember when you said the Christmas tradition didn't make any sense and was kind of a huge mess to have a tree in your living room? Well look at this shit, bitch! Edward Hibbard Johnson, this tree is an eyesore and extremely dangerous. What if it catches on fire? A Christmas fire? This sounds great! I knew you'd open up to our traditions eventually, you little alien. That was the alien sound. And so it was. Now we put lights on trees and on buildings and on people and strung throughout the house. But lights get super duper hot and trees are super duper dry. So lots of Christmas fires went ablaze during the holidays early on until we invented a new kind of tree made of plastic which means our traditions will forever exist in the form of a plastic tree at the bottom of the ocean for 10,000 years. God, I love plastic. Nearly impossible to recycle. No, seriously, check this video out in the description. It's legit almost impossible to recycle plastic, as well as being everywhere at all times and might as well last forever. No matter what catastrophe awaits us, our mark on this planet and in all its glory will never go away and will retain its shape for generations after we're gone. May Christmas exist far beyond humanity, and may our priceless Christmas artifacts make it difficult for organisms to survive in an environment contaminated with mycoplastics and other toxins seeping out of the 400 million plastic trees, useless gadgets, and toys we ship around the planet and throw out every year. Thank you, Santa! Without Santa Claus, we simply couldn't manufacture all these plastic toys so quick! Couldn't have done it without you, pal. Man, I'm all giddy thinking about the holidays. Are you excited like me? What are wh what do you think is waiting for you under the tree? Do you think you'll perish in the Christmas fire this year? And why don't we have Christmas every day every year? At this point, we deserve a break, huh? Well, 
That's all the holiday happenings I can mention now, and it's probably time to return back to the safety of the indoor realm. Keep your coats on, and don't touch the thermostat because we're still making payments on Christmases we had in the 90s. Despite that, nothing will stop us from making each Christmas now more epic than the ones of the past, no matter how financially crippling. Have a merry little Christmas, you corporate cunts, and have a happy new year. I wanna wish you a this episode of McBoogle's Exposition was brought to you by you the Demon King Christmas. Santa Claus, who is actually an ancient salamander creature who has been dormant for thousands of years until the recent changes occurred deep within the earth, which started about a thousand year long spiritual conflict in 2012 and is peaking now, which is also why you feel like the other shoe is about to drop. And believe me, and believe Santa Claus the Demon King, the other shoe will drop. Sleep well, for this Christmas may be our last. Bye 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 bye. I wanna wish you a fucking Christmas. I wanna wish you a fucking Christmas. I wanna wish you a fucking Christmas and a happy last year.